All right, let's go ahead and do another example with uh, quadratic functions here. So example three, uh, f of x equals x squared minus 6x plus 11. Find the equation of the tangent line at x equals 1. So there's a little more going on here because uh, we're doing more than just finding the derivative. Okay, we're finding uh, the equation of a line. So before we move on, let's go ahead and uh, recall what the equation of a line actually is. So recall... Uh, there are many different forms for the equation of a line, right? But the one that's going to be useful to us is point-slope form. So we call point-slope form. So what's point-slope form? Uh, it's y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. So y and x are your typical variables that show up in an equation. Um, but what's all this other stuff? Well, x1 comma y1 that's any point on the line, right, is uh, any point on the line. And we'll come back to that in a second. But what's uh, m? m is the slope, right? m equals slope. And what's slope? It's, that's right, it's the derivative. So uh, equals the derivative. Okay, because we're talking about a tangent line here, so uh, the slope, okay, we want the equation of the tangent line, so to get the equation of the tangent line, we need the slope of the tangent line, and what's the slope of the tangent line? It's the derivative, right? Uh, the derivative where? The derivative at x equals 1. So it's uh, the derivative at x equals 1, and uh, in other words, that's f primed of 1, all right? So we need to figure out what f primed of 1 is. Right, but before that, um, what's this point x1 comma y1? Well, it's any point on the line, but um, all we know is that x equals 1. Okay, that's, that's all we really know. Um, that's all we have any information about. Uh, so here, find the equation of the tangent line at x equals 1. Um, I guess we really don't even have information about it, but we just know that uh, we're finding all this when x is 1. So let's just go ahead and use that. Uh, it'll be the simplest thing to do. The simplest, well, maybe not the simplest, but definitely the safest. So let's just go ahead and do that because um, it's the only value of x we're given. So when x equals 1, let's figure out what y is. And actually, we're going to have to do that anyway when we do the derivative. So uh, when x equals 1, y equals f of 1, which is what? Well, f of x is uh, x squared minus 6x plus 11. So f of 1 is 1 squared minus 6 times 1 plus 11, which is uh, 1 minus 6 is negative 5, and then plus 11 is 6. All right, so that's that. Um, now let's go ahead and figure out what this derivative is. All right, so now, well, I guess before that, real quick, let's just write down our point uh, x1 comma y1. So this is uh, 1 comma 6. All right, so we have that now. Um, now let's figure out what the derivative uh, f prime of 1 is. So if we come up here, uh, then what we have is f prime of 1 equals the limit as h goes to 0 of f of 1 plus h minus f of 1, uh, all that divided by h, right? So there's our difference quotient. Uh, taking a limit as h goes to 0. Now we just have to figure out what's f of 1 plus h, right? And we already know f of 1, right? We just figured that out down here. Um, so let's just figure out what f of 1 plus h is. So uh, let's come down here. f of 1 plus h equals, uh, it's going to be 1 plus h squared minus 6 times 1 plus h, then plus 11. So this is a 1 plus h quantity squared minus 6 times 1 plus h, and then plus 11, right? So um, let's erase this here. And then what we have is uh, 1 plus 2h plus h squared minus 6 minus 6h plus 11. So when we combine like terms, we have uh, h squared plus 2h minus 6h is minus 4h. And then plus 1 minus 6 is uh, minus 5, plus 11 is plus 6, all right? So f of 1 plus h is h squared minus 4h plus 6. So let's go ahead and put that up in here. And we have a limit 
as h goes to 0 of h squared minus 4h plus 6. And then minus f of 1 means minus 6, because remember f of 1 is 6. Okay, so now all that's still being divided by h. So now we just simplify. Um, plus 6 minus 6, those cancel, that's great. And now we have a limit as h goes to 0 of h squared minus 4h, all divided by h. So let's factor out that h from the top. And we have a h times h minus 4, all divided by h. So let's uh, erase this down here. All right, so now these h's cancel. That's great, that's wonderful. Now we just have limit as h goes to 0 of h minus 4. Direct substitution tells us that equals negative 4. So that's great. Um, f primed of 1 equals negative 4. So here, f prime to 1 uh, equals negative 4. That's our slope, m. So now we have x1, y1, we have m. Now we just take them and put them into this formula here. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to get y minus 6, y1 is 6, all right, equals uh, negative 4 times x minus x1, and x1 is just 1. All right, so let's, um, it might be okay to stop there, depending on what the instructions say, if you have to do a problem like this. But let's go ahead and put this in a slope-intercept form. So that's going to be y minus 6 equals uh, negative 4x plus 4, all right, when we distribute the negative 4 to here. And then this becomes y equals negative 4x plus 10. And that's the equation of the tangent line there. Um, let's go ahead and verify that real quick with a graphing calculator. So uh, here we have a TI-89, so let's go ahead and zoom into that here. All right, so um, we're going to go to the equation editor. So the first equation is going to be x squared uh, minus 6x plus 11. That was our original function. And then the equation of the tangent line we just found was uh, negative 4x plus 10. So we're going to put both of those in there, and then we'll go to the graph. So there's uh, x squared minus 6x plus 11. And then there's the tangent line uh, at x equals 1. Oops. So we see the tangent line right there. Um, so this verifies that that's actually the correct line.